Hello, Gravy Timothys. And it seems once again we are back into the habit of giving a go to silly little challenges in Hoi 4. You know what? You dare say that after a while, that all these years and hours put into this game, sometimes, all right, you just want to give yourself that extra bit of torment to enjoy the game. And there's uh, most certainly going to be quite a bit of torment for today's one. But before we get carried away with that, I have a very special sponsor today that you definitely need to listen to. It's here, the largest and most ambitious Heart of Iron 4 event ever conceived. Speed 5 are proud to present the Hoi 4 World Championship. After four months of battling it out for the top spots, the finale will be held on the 4th and the 5th of May 2024 in Stockholm with $20,000 on the line. You can get yourself a ticket right now to see the top talent in Hearts of Iron 4 history battling out for that number one spot. And even some of your favorite content creators- Wait, hold on a sec. Can I just get a rewind on that? Denmark. <clears throat> and even some of your favorite content creators will be there, either hosting or attending the event, like Boko Award, who is in great scale in this photo because he passed away from excitement. Just kidding, he's alive. Just like you'll feel when you attend this event. Tickets are available right now. Got a few buddies not up to much that weekend. We'll tell them to get in the back of your van because we're going to Stockholm, baby. Dream game. You just got yourself the limited group ticket with a discounted price. Oh, but it don't end right there, Timmy, because you too could be going to Stockholm, but not in the back of a van, in the winner's circle as the qualifiers are still ongoing. And you can download yourself the mod right now. Join the Hoi 4 Commanders Discord and be in for a chance of becoming the Hoi 4 World Champion. So become part of Hearts of Iron 4 history right now by getting your ticket or downloading the mod and participating yourself. Everything will be linked down below. So thank you very much Speed 5 for that sponsor and I definitely recommend you guys check it out down below in the comments. But anyway, it's time for a challenge. Okay, now when you're doing a wacky and wonderful challenge like today, it's always a safe bet to do it as the United States of America. Now that don't mean I don't have a few challenges up my sleeve that I'm not gonna do as a US. I actually have another one planned for the Soviet Union that is a bit of a throwback. Hey, but today's ungodly challenge is around these fuel guzzling, unreliable hunks of metal. Yep. It's the heavy tank, something that I very rarely, if not at all, use in Hoi 4. Now, as you know from past few videos, I've got a thing for the light tanks. You could do pretty much everything you want in single player vanilla with these bad boys. So you make them real fast, you can up armor them to hell, or just make them into SPGs. You can do everything and they're cheap as anything. Oh yeah, almost as cheap as hitting that like and subscribe button down there. That's absolutely free. Please. But heavy tanks, <laughs> where do I put the heavy tank? First off, as the Americans, we don't even have a MIO to boost up our heavy tank production. The only one we do have is the tank destroyer board, which is just a overall one for armor. Oh yeah, if you can't tell from the grayscale, we don't even have it. Another huge downside to the heavy tanks, especially as the United States of America, is that you actually need to worry about a thing called Japan. Yeah, now I'm not too sure if you ever tried to navally invade a country, <laughs> let alone without heavy tanks, uh, it doesn't go too well. Uh, but you know what, where there's a will, there's most certainly almost a way somewhere that we can figure this one out. Uh, on top of that, I think the resources and the uh, stuff we're actually going to need for this is a lot of chromium too, something that the US doesn't start with. Um, but we do have a handy neighbor down here called Cuba who we can trade with. I'd much prefer to invade them and take it, but uh, as we know for America, invasions of Cuba doesn't go too well. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 150 political power. We just yoinked out the New Deal right there and get ourselves a military advisor so we can start churning out and producing these tanks as quickly as we can. And next, so we're just going to rush down Agriculture Adjustment Act as we have the Senate and House support just to get ourselves a bit of a uh, debuff going for our Great Depression. Oh, and also it gets rid of the spirit a little bit. Okay, I have been rushing all of the house stuff as quickly as we can just to see if we can get selective training and get down to uh, the tank destroyer doctrine over here, which will unlock the one MIO I can actually use. <laughs> I, just, I love like heavy tanks so much. You know what? I want to put the, the heavy cannon on. Boom, 55% <laughs> reliability. Uh, we could go ahead and put the uh, the heavy fixed superstructure on, but that just, just, just tanks operate 
breakthrough. And I think these bad boys, <laughs> they're gonna need the breakthrough. And now there is ways we can get our reliability up. I'm gonna whack the diesel engine in because I, these things are, well, they're never gonna go too fast, are they? And then we've also got the torsion bar on, which gives us another bit of reliability and wet ammo storage. So we get up to 110, which means we can then whack some armor on and it goes 3.5 kilometers, probably uh, keep that up. <laughs> also, already, this just uses every resource under the sun. But for a basic heavy tank, this is actually very good. I have whacked a fuel drum on here too, and I do have another strat to keep these things fueled because uh, the fuel capacity on these and the, how much they use is quite a lot. And uh, it's not like I uh, I need <laughs> to keep things fueled like I'm on a budget, but things do run out very quickly and these are going to eat up supply. So I, I got an idea. So I have these uh, light tanks. I'm just going to refit them all and uh, make one that literally just has fuel drums on just for the hell of it. And when these are uh, actually on a unit, say like we just make one quickly here, because obviously this is heavy tanks only. Uh, I'm just going to whack a heavy tank in right there. Fuel capacity 162. But if we put our special little tank on, boom, goes up to 408 because these things are literally just carrying fuel in them. Uh, and then on top of that, for our light recon i'm actually gonna also get a flame unit with the same build on there later on and that should basically double this bad boy later on top of actually adding in all the heavy tanks as well these things are going to be fueled for days and there you go already ran into the problem with the mystical crobia oh cuba me and you are gonna be best friends this game okay so we had the election and that knocked our congress support yeah all the way down so uh the house is still good but we did manage to pull through on our selection training act which is very nice there we go so finally we got ourselves the tank destroyer board and that's gonna give us a few handy buffs down the line uh, gonna have to level it up quite a bit though oh the policies are actually pretty useful in it too i think i saw a reliability one in here somewhere i don't think we need the armor one for heavy tanks i mean you can put as much armor as you want on these already but this 10 percent reliability is probably gonna come in handy okay so obviously we are going down the neutrality act i am no way in any shape ready for any sort of intervention and we need as much time as we can to get these tanks rolling out okay finally unlocked flamethrowers so like i said gonna go ahead and make another template of a light tank and really not gonna bother with these other than their fuel capacity and obviously the bonus for flamethrowers which uh, isn't even that much nowadays i think that got nerfed pretty bad but still decent enough there we go so i'm just testing out how much fuel that would add and uh, i got myself up an extra like 300 there and another 300 there so 1800 hopefully that uh, helps out quite a bit with these gas guzzlers yeah, but already, like, this ain't a very good tank. Not what I'd usually go for. Breakthrough's very nice, and the armor's getting there. But I think once we get the, uh, the second heavy tank, which we could actually start researching already since we don't have a lot to research, and a better gun... Uh, these things are going to be doing very well. Oh, we can already do Giant Awake, so might as well get that going and actually start building a few factories because I think that is pretty much everything dealt with now that I can think of. And uh, it's time to start pumping out tanks, but not before I get a few boats out because I, without naval invading the uh, Japanese over there, even though they're not doing too well in China, we're probably going to have to keep them at bay a bit more. And uh, coincidentally, this also also uses even more chromium so hello cuba and uh yeah whenever i do us games i literally just build nothing but infrastructure for the start of the game you get so many sieves anyway and you also get just a lot of resources that you're gonna need for late games so might as well build those bad boys up and then later on you get the bonus for building in them it's pretty nice okay also people keep asking me about the boats that i build in this game and it's pretty simple just stack this light attack number as much as you can so like, if i'm building my destroyer here i am actually gonna go put a death charge on just for like the, the one coincidence i might run into a submarine but then i'm just gonna stack all these dual purpose uh, batteries on there because they give a nice amount of light attack but they also do also do anti-air and uh it's pretty much exactly the damn same thing for the cruisers 
2. There's really not a lot of difference here. I just keep upgrading this where I can. Stack the light attack. And that's all she wrote. And then for everything else. I just put on the uh, the radar there. And then the, uh, the catapult airplane thing. So that I can actually get a bit of surface detection. And actually find the Japanese fleet. And then those destroyers and cruisers. Will be the basis of the entire fleet. And then maybe I'll steal a couple battleships off here. Just for a little bit of hard attack. And that's pretty much everything you need and then because i'm probably going to refit those starting ones i do something like this uh, i don't think i'll even bother researching the next battleship so it's only battleship one but again just a little bit of hard attack and then uh mostly just light attack but the heavy attack you know that's just it's just a little bit you know just gives it a little nudge in the right direction when you run up against their battleship oh i say a bit of a nudge because you have stacked light attack you should absolutely destroy all of the screens before the battleships even come into battle and then uh uh, yeah, you just overrun them. It's... Uh it maybe is not as complicated as people like to make it out to be. And there you go. We're just going to refit those four ones there. And I think there's also a little bonus somewhere in here we can take that will make it a little bit quicker to actually do them. There we go. Ship refitting speed, 25%. Nice. Yeah, but even so, refitting them is so expensive. Uh, but it's a little bit less expensive than building an entire new one. But the first tanks are now in production. Uh, in 1939. <laughs> you know? We can't even fill four of them. All right, so we've also got our second heavy tank in production. Well, about to be in production, and it's already looking a lot better. Only problem is, it's also a lot more expensive, and we have a lot of them to make. But the American economy is officially open for business. This is uh, <laughs> beautiful. Wait a sec, I just thought about this. Can I make a heavy tank amphibious? We're going to have to find out. Okay, we're actually at the point now where Cuba has run out of chromium for us. <laughs> now, I wasn't 100% if I was actually going to go about holding the Philippines because I'm actually just producing these things so fast now. I'm just going to pop them out and leave them over there as our first official tank brigade. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Already starving to death in the Philippines. Uh, but yeah, these things cannot do anything offensive here unless the Japanese obviously land in us. We're just going to use them for defense uh, for now <laughs> until we figure out whether or not we can make some amphibious heavy tanks down here. Yeah, I'm actually also just straight up running out of steel as America already. <laughs> I am trading so much with the UK and it's just not enough. My me just yoinking Greenland. Uh, mostly because I don't want Something like this happening to it. I love the fact the Norwegian government just been exiled to Jan Mayen. <laughs> oh my god. Can we actually make a amphibious heavy tech? We are so back. This is this is actually disgusting. <laughs> okay, so yep, now we just need to build two heavy tanks. Here they come. Okay, now because I imagine the Japanese subs and just everything else, uh, well, no, I'm going to be real with you. I want to go ahead and get our free trade because I'm losing so much of my resources that I need to build these hilariously expensive tanks that were just coming off of it. And there you go. <laughs> no one can need to trade for all my steel. Uh, but yeah, I guess also the Japanese will be uh, naval, you know, you know, raiding me a bit over here. Uh, I'm not sending my new fleet over just yet. I'm waiting for the other battleship to be done. So, you know... Okay, the actual fleet is finally ready. We're just going to go set that to patrol wherever the Japanese fleet is. But, oh, it, they are projecting power over here. So we'll go see if we can have a little tussle. Uh, yeah, I'm just immediately finding everything and uh, blowing it up. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? <laughs> okay, we are going to have to use these amphibious heavy tanks sparingly because I can only have a few of them as they are a special forces and uh, you can't put motorized on them. You do have to actually use Amtraks in them instead of motorized and <laughs> or else they lose their bonuses for uh, doing the amphibious assault. So, we just gotta hope that free will be enough for now. Oh yeah, meanwhile, I just uh, keep sending the Japanese to the bottom of the sea. Okay, so I haven't built any cast, as this is the heavy tank only uh, challenge, which... Uh, <laughs> does mean I did allow myself just to build Fidos, just for air supremacy. Um, but also means we have even less of a chance to naval invade Taiwan right now. Okay, I think the Japanese fleet has been sufficiently neutered over here. I'm going to put them on naval invasion support just because I cannot afford to lose these tanks. So we're going to give it a go. Oh, that, that must be a, a very 
awkward <laughs> meeting right there. Oh, I mean, it is a green arrow we're getting, but I think we're going to get de-orged out of this unless we do... No, no, we, we may actually win this. Oh, and of course, the submarines, though. <laughs> Make sure my fleet keeps us <laughs> keeps us away or else it could get very awkward. Oh, no, we got it. We got it easy. Now, let me go, submarine. Very interestingly, I think the game might be breaking a little here or everything just died in these units. But why have, <laughs> why have they changed, like, logo? Now, I've never seen this bug before, but uh, they are just <laughs> changing what they are every second right now. Apparently, they're infantry and a heavy tank, but these are definitely all heavy tank amphibious. Oh, God. Uh, ain't looking too good over there. We're going to need to speed things up in Asia. Okay, well... That's a little bit of a freebie. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna assume that Japan can't actually get over here to stop me, so I've just been convoy raiding them into oblivion, so they're probably all stuck in China, which means free Japan. Didn't stand a chance! I, you know, best part about owning Japan now is I actually have somewhere to keep building, as I've ran out of slots completely in America. Alright, we're repositioning over to Europe now, and everything's looking pretty good, actually, but they haven't been able to push out of Italy. Um, just the eastern front's looking... <laughs> A little bit concerning. Uh, you know, looking at the history of my ships, it's safe to say they've been <laughs> very busy. Okay, so I've spammed out all the heavy tanks in my arsenal. I've actually... Uh, that's a lie. I have another 2,000. Hold on. Let me spam out the rest of my heavy tanks. There we go. And I've managed to get an extra two amphibious ones out. Okay, now comes the moment of truth. Will this actually work? I mean, we are we are beating them. Uh, just not beating them enough to actually get them out of that port. Oh, never mind. We may deorg them any second. There we go. We're in. <laughs> and this is where the heavy tanks have their fun. Yeah, I think it's safe to say say uh these boys are rolling i'm surprised we managed to get an encirclement that big with these things they are so damn slow but i guess they're just so powerful it don't matter oh well, so powerful and they're also you know <laughs> got a mile long convoy full of light tanks behind them just carrying fuel God, just rolling over them. There is nothing that they can do to stop me. You know, I definitely still prefer light tanks, even medium tanks at a stretch, but this is also very fun, but also super expensive. Actually, you know, I say that, but uh, still just got 3.4k sitting in the bank right now. Oh, well, there goes the German capitulation. Um, I guess they've they just moved over here, though, technically. Yeah, don't worry, Stalin. I'll give you a hand liberating that land. Um, just don't mind us going to Poland currently. Even though I just absolutely clapped them there. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of points here, do I? There you go. Not too bad. Just enough to get West Germany. And uh, I have no idea what else just happened to the world. Um, yep. <laughs> a very interesting Iron Curtain. Hey. So anyway, I think that was incredibly fun. We could keep going and uh, roll over the Soviets, but I don't think they'd stand in our way at all at this point. <laughs> they are still fighting Finland, though, in the continuation war and finally pushing them back. But yeah, we accomplished everything we wanted. We made our disgustingly overpowered heavy tanks that just rolled over the Germans in a second. We got these uh, stupid shark divisions. I had to actually change the icon on them because they just kept breaking. Hey, but there they are. That's the template I used with a astonishing 815 breakthrough. Don't mind if I do. We could obviously make something even better or even beef those divisions up a lot, but I don't think we needed to. As you can see, they, they rolled over the AI no problem whatsoever. Uh, and then obviously we had our, our little meme convoy of fuel trucks behind us that uh, I think definitely helped out as well for sure. Hey, but that was another challenge completed. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe down below. And if you didn't, well... That's a bit rude, really. Oh, yeah. Also, make sure you check out Speed 5. Link down below. Cool tournament happening. Woo, woo, woo.